I just got done paying a $300 no front plate ticket. So that was not fun. So we'll get this on there. Every time I pull this thing out, they seem to, uh, you know, want to pull me over. This was a regular narrow body. Regular Hellcat. And then you went out and got these flares to make it a wide body. Wide body. So it fits on any SRT SRT body style, right? And the rear will fit even on RT, right? Yeah. But uh, if you just buy the flares, they'll fit on uh, on any uh, scat pack, SRT, full cap. Or even the GT. I think the GT has the um, the new GTs have the scat pack body, right? Yeah, they do. So, yeah, yeah pretty much. They're making the whole lineup have the yeah, SRT it looks body a style. Yeah, because I use the the rims from the old scat pack, but I'm getting the rims. So one of the biggest problems with adding the flares is the tire offset kind of yeah these are positive. it looks too tucked in right yeah, so it's positive offset. the negative offset should be minus 2.5 and that's the one i got they're coming they should be coming the beginning of march uh, so you're gonna get yeah oh so you're gonna get wide body rims and Correct. then okay it's gonna look like exactly the wide body okay and it's gonna be 20 by 11s with 305 all around 20 by 11 all around with what 305 Actually, wait, tires I'm, or I'm not sure if I did 20 by 11 and 20 by 10 but it's gonna be 305 all around 315 is a little risky because again my flares are not screwed in a lot of people cut everything I didn't cut anything I didn't touch anything I, I put commercial blue the, the shop did and it's the same so this is off. this is glued is the, the the brackets are glued in is a top then and then you glued. clip it in right yeah, but yeah. It's also glued, so okay this thing won't never come out. but uh some people like to screw the bracket and then clip them in i did the seam off i'll tell you you know it, it really does bring it out so I much did f inch f inch um what's my call spacer and it looked beautiful but it, it, uh, as soon as you drive it starts rubbing yeah if you hit this then that, that thing could fall off yeah. You know, I don't want to take a chance, but it, you know, it's uh, it, with, with the rims it's supposed to go on and uh, like it's supposed to. Not so that looks a little weird. Too, too, it looks too tough thing, you know. The flares are actually inexpensive. They're what, like six, seven hundred bucks I think or something I think like that? They lowered it to about six seventy something about yeah, less, so than, less than seven hundred dollars. Less than seven hundred, so you just gotta get them painted and then the I it seems like the installation isn't overly uh overly uh time consuming, right? So uh, it's not bad, right? I mean listen, I did it three times because I used one thing. Do not use the three M tape because that shit sucks. 3M yeah, is no go. A, uh, some type of glue. It's like fifty dollars per bottle. I use two bottles, and myself because I didn't cut anything and I didn't screw anything. I use the glue, so I I, I use this seam to stop so, the water from right, going in. Right, to stop in. water okay. dust. I mean, listen, water's always gonna get in, but that glue it's it's commercial. Like it's what they use at the body shop. That thing on the wall mm -hmm. it won't come out unless you really hit something. Then yes, but and I also got the um, strip LED. On both sides. Yeah, that looks that's good. Pain, yeah. This way, you don't have to black it out. It, it yeah, looks already. The only thing is that the wire that comes with any charger for the uh, side markers are very short. It's a pain. It's a bit of a pain. Yeah, know, but it, it looks... I mean, the only thing that I mean, my the only negative that I can see with doing this kit 
is uh you know this is be me being a little bit nitpicky is the the side quarter like the side rocker here yeah, like i got i would nice. want to connect it because it's a little well full four but that's is making me new sights Kurt. something here yeah like a little wing and a little wing in the back so it kind of looks oh like i got gotcha. you uniform but i don't really really you know, like it's it, not gonna go look close Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's just, I'm, I'm just being yeah, no, no, nitpicky. No. That's, that's, that's all. Right. But I think it overall, it looks Once great. Once you do the wings, it, it's not, you, it, it look, yeah. you don't look, you don't see that space. So. It gives it such a, 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 a an aggressive this stance, actually, the wide body. remember when I had this, I had to cut this. Uh-huh. Because it won't fit. This part right here oh, on the yeah. bottom, yep. I had to cut it because it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. So I had to modify this as well. They also did that too. Now is this thing lowered or anything like no, that? No, no. This is stock it's riding height. Well, everybody asks me, did you lower it? No, it's the rim that's bigger and it fills in the gap more. Yeah. With the F-inch spacer, it looked it looked like so good, but I couldn't take a chance. So I'm like, you know what? Let me wait for the new rims. See, look, the, the rules are rusted. I haven't drove the car in so long because I got the rim now with the snow and everything. So I, I haven't really used it, but um, I think it came out pretty good for seven hundred dollars. Yeah. I would definitely do it. I mean, the SRT body kit looks great as as it sits, but these these flares really give it that menacing stance. Yeah, I put the five inch tips. Maybe I think they may be a little too big, but I'm not sure. Look at this guy, full force customs rep over here. Yeah, this looks he's, good. He's making me another another one of these. It's good, and I'm gonna do the the side. Yeah, this wicker belt looks pretty solid. I like that. It looks a little bit like higher or something. Yeah, than, usually than, the uh, regular wicked bills have that extra. It's lower. Yeah. It's like this this line right here, and then you have that uh, clear part in the middle. I made. It, I like this. I it it higher, kind of looks so. part of the spoiler. You know, that looks good. It's a little higher than regular uh, regular wicked bills. You did a little lux action. Yeah, you got it. It's looking good, I man. I did the flag on top. I did a few things, you know. They be woody, cold there and thing. Okay. How did that it work out? Great. It, it, it you hear that supercharger now, right? No, nah, now you hear it. Like, I love it. Like, yeah. now you want to hear it all the time. It <laughs> I heard you coming from a it block away. It's like, Whoa! It changes like 80% of sound. It increases like crazy. Like. Yeah. And did you, you did an, um, like a mid muffler delete or something like that? Yeah, mid muffler delete, cold air intake. I was thinking, uh, Pulley, but I'm not sure yet. Okay. And the uh, oil catch can. Yeah. You know, you think you would want to add more power to a Hellcat until you actually start driving one, and then you're like, eh. you know, the only thing that's stopping me is the warranty thing. And yeah. Other than that, I would I would have bring it to 900 horsepower easily. You know What's that? I'm afraid of. What's going on here? That's the cover for the lights. I got oh. lights coming. It's a little dirty. Yeah. So you don't want to screw with your warranty. Right. I got oil catch can, be woody, cold air intake. I was thinking about changing the pulley, but again, maybe I'll wait the thirty-six thousand and then okay, and then I'll change it. You know? Yeah. And if something goes wrong, if I have to pay out of pocket, I gotta do it later. But if I can call right now with warranty, why not? Yeah. You know? I got you. I mean, listen, I'm sure if you just change your pulley, something goes wrong. I'll tell you, that's all you need with these is a mid muffler delete and you're set, you know? It sounds so good. Yeah, these, I don't put them on when I drive because at night you can't do shit with this, so I, uh... Oh, I gotcha. You didn't want to do the Lux? Yeah, I mean, let's take it even more, but I can't, you know, I can't really see anything. Yeah. So I, I take them on, I put them on when, uh, when I'm driving and shit, so whatever. Like that. Yeah, that looks... That looks stealthy. Uh, but I, don't drive I, had, uh, I lost two of them before. So I don't really trust them when I drive. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It goes flying off. Yeah. Look. It does look really good. It looks menacing. Yeah. I'll tell you, the front looks friggin' dynamite. I, like this. Uh, you know, I stopped for a few months posting because you know, I have some stuff going on, but now hopefully I can uh, start posting again here and there. So, what do you like better? This with a, the regular SRT body style with the wide body flares, or do you like the new uh, the new look with the the um, what is it the 2021 
you know, body style. The the factory OEM wide body. But it looks the same. It looks exactly the same. The well, the, the, the styling the of the front is a little it's bit different. It's just the bumper. The bumper has got the, uh, the chunky uh, track look, I think. Yeah. With the thing here. And that's it. It's just the bumper. But then, see, like, I don't even like these. I would have rather have a straight grill and make it look more black. point that, that I'm trying to make Simple is, like, if someone had, like, a Scat Pack or a Daytona, do you recommend, would you say just go with the flares? Or get like the full OEM wide body kit. My preferences. Like, yeah. I, I like it the way it looks. Like it, it does look nice, even the new bumper. But to me, it's fine. Yeah. I. I, 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 I mean, I don't, I'm not really keen with the bumper. It's yeah. You know. So really, guys, if you're gonna end up doing this, you get the flares, put them on there, and then you're gonna have to go out and get a negative offset rim. Uh, Minus 2.5, exactly. 2.5, yeah. 11 inch 2.5 rims, and that will uh, bring those you know tires out, right? Yeah, yeah. Flush. It'll bring it. It'll look exactly like the uh, stock. The, okay. Okay. Yeah, man, this looks good. All right, guys. If you haven't already, definitely go check out FP2000. He's got a pretty, pretty damn awesome Hellcat here. He's modding it up tempted to do some performance right down the road but, but all right guys <laughs>